this demo is about uh, copying PNP search results uh, web part settings. Just a quick introduction about myself. Uh, uh, my name is Anup Thati. I am a SharePoint developer at Content and Cloud based in London. So I, I write some blogs on uh, SPFX uh, related uh, things or under, under the platform called Medium. Uh, and then that's the link to my blog, uh, Anup medium.com I'm on Twitter as well under the username Anup Tells, and my GitHub username is uh, Anup T. So uh, you can follow me on on those platforms if needed. So what we'll do is uh, we'll we'll do a demo first, and then uh, have a look at the code of uh, of this particular extension. Uh, so for this demo, what I'll do is I'll quickly establish a scenario, and then uh, tell you uh, what it is all about. So. Uh, so what I have got here is a, a page in my dev tenant, and uh, this page, if I just quickly edit it, uh, you can see it has got a PNP search results web part and uh, uh, you know a page properties web part. Uh, so uh, you know all this does is it is rolling up some of the pages uh, based off a certain content type, uh, and then displaying it over here. Uh, now. Uh, what I've also done is I've created uh, a few other pages as well based off uh, this template, uh, uh, you know, with a similar format. One is called All About Parker, again, a PNP search for part and then page properties. And then uh, there's, there's one called All About Giraffe or Graph, uh, which has again a search for part and uh, page properties. Now let's imagine that there are, uh, you know, uh, quite a few uh, pages created like this. Uh, so maybe, uh, you know, if we had a template somewhere or a, a template page uh, or someone went ahead and just uh, did a new copy of this page and there are a lot of uh, pages with this setup. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, what happens is, um, you know, everything is, is fine. This this page is rolling up all the other pages, and then a new requirement comes in. Uh, uh, you know, it might say hey, it, this page, which says all about warrior horses, is is rolling up a lot of content. Uh, you know, it is uh, bringing giraffe or graph content and also Parker content. So, uh, you know, we need to change this, and we also need to change the the layout of the the results web part. So for that, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and uh, change this particular page. So you know, I'll uh, edit the web part and I'll change the query slightly. Uh, I'll just paste this uh, query, uh, which which says, you know, bring me all the pages that have got, uh, uh, you know, the, the topic as the current pages topic. Uh, so I'll apply that and you can see it now only has warrior host related pages. And then if I go next and then uh, change the layout, uh, we've got the cars layout now. Now, you know, this this has to be done in in the other pages as well, basically the Parker page and even in the giraffe page, because what is Chris Kent doing in the giraffe page? He's, he should be in the warrior horses page, right? So so that that's that's the whole point. So, you know, in order to apply this change on the other pages, uh, you know, I've I've got a few options. Uh, the first one basically is I can go ahead and edit this page and manually change the web part. Uh, uh, you know, I would have to do this on all, on all the other pages which are based off this template. That would be a, a long task. Uh, and the uh, the second option is uh, you know if I edit this page. Uh, the, uh, the PNP uh, search web parts team, uh, they've given us a nice facility of, uh, you know, exporting and importing properties. Uh, so we could use that as well. Uh, we can use some PowerShell, uh, PNP PowerShell script as well in order to update uh, uh, the, the web part on all the other pages. Now, in this particular demo, we will look at another option wherein we can use SPFX extension to do that. So so basically our aim is to copy the settings of uh, this web part uh, or copy the settings for, of this web part on this page onto uh, all the other pages, which is the, the Parker page and the Giraffe page. So uh, what I'll do is I'll just go to my pages library and then let me just hit refresh. And uh, uh, you know, I'll, I'll select the pages uh, where the settings need to be copied. Uh, so those are the, the Parker page and the Giraffe page. And I also have a, a random page created over here. Uh, I'll select that as well. And then, uh, you know, this new option comes up, which is copy uh, search web part settings. 
and then I press that, and then it opens up, it, it opens up a dialog, and it asks uh, various. Uh, you know, inputs. So firstly, we have to specify uh, our source page, i.e. the page uh, where we made the change, and that was nothing but the warrior horses page. So uh, just go ahead and copy that and uh, paste it over there. And then we have to select which version of the PNP search uh, web part uh, uh, did we make the change in. So that's the search results v4. And then uh, we get to see uh, select whether it's uh, whether the web part is in uh, you know vertical section or any other section. So in this case, it is in the zeroth section, zero co column number zero, and then order zero. Uh, and then similarly, in the destination pages, uh, we've got the web part in the same in the same uh, position. So it is uh, zero column zero. Uh, Sorry, zero section zero column and the order is zero. This this can be you know different based on based on the requirement. And then so once we are sure that this is what we want to do, I'll go ahead and press submit. And what happens is uh, it goes ahead and uh, you know does the tasks. Uh, and then it gives us these results. So firstly, it will say what all pages um, have been successfully completed. And uh, on the right side, it says what all on what all on what all pages was this not successful. So if we look at the the PNP Parker page, uh, you know, click on it. You can see earlier it was uh, you know showing all the pages in the list format. Now uh, it is showing in the card format. Similarly, if I go ahead and click the giraffe page, uh, you can see only graph related articles. No more uh, Chris Kent in the giraffe pages, so uh, only uh, graph pages. Uh, and then uh, for the pages that was not or that were not successful in this case, only one page, which is a, a random page. If I click on that, the reason it was not successful was, you know, uh, it, at that particular location, it had the the text web part and not the PNP search results web part. So that's why it, uh, you know, it didn't copy the settings. Right, so that was the demo. Now let's, uh, uh, you know, let's look at the code itself. So, uh, you know, all this code is present in uh, in the GitHub repository. So, what we have, I've just taken a snippet uh, or a screenshot of the of the code. So we have one uh, main component which I've called it as uh, worker dialog. So that's the dialog which we saw pop up. Uh, and that dialog, you know, uh, what we uh, do uh, in, in that is uh, firstly we we get the source page uh, using PNPJS, of course, uh, uh, you know, based on the the uh, the input that was provided. So in this case, we take the link uh, that was provided, and then what we do is. Uh, uh, we get the source web part based on the the section column and the order, uh, and then once we have the source web part, uh, what we do is we go ahead and uh, grab the the properties of that web part. Uh, so in this case, it's the uh, JSON web part data dot properties, uh, and then uh, we also have to grab the dynamic data values. Uh, I think this this one uh, this property of the web part is used only in the PNP uh, search web parts version three. Uh, I haven't seen it uh, being used in uh, V4, or I might be wrong. Uh, but yeah, uh, and those are the two uh, two elements we need to get from the source web part. Uh, so once we uh, once we've got those, there's uh, there's a, a a use effect uh, method basically, uh, which gets triggered because we have changed uh, we've changed the or rather gotten the source uh, web part properties. What that does is it calls a method called as update destination web parts. Um, and that one, in that method, what we do is we go through all the destination pages uh, that have been selected, uh, and then we go ahead and uh, uh, load the page and then load the destination web part based on the, uh, the destination location, i.e. Uh, the section column and the order entered. Uh, so uh, once we've got those details, um, what we do is we go ahead and set the uh, the web part uh, data dot properties and the dynamic data values uh, for the destination web parts based on the uh, you know the source web part uh, values that we've got, and then finally uh, we go ahead and save the page and then uh, push that to the uh, uh, you know successful pages array, and that's what gets displayed in the in the dialog as well.
Right. Uh, so one thing you might notice here is that I'm I'm using the the thumbnail URL. I guess this is only in my tenant that I've seen that if if I save the page uh, for some reason the thumbnail of the page was getting removed. So that's why uh, before saving we just get the existing thumbnail uh, and then uh, set the thumbnail again to the uh, to the value that that we have copied. That's all. Right. Uh, so uh, that's what the code does. Uh, now, one other thing I wanted to show you was, uh, you know, the, uh, the, this control called as uh, animated dialog. So, if I just quickly jump into the code, uh, so uh, this this is basically the, uh, uh, you know, uh, the the dialog. Uh, so, then if I just quickly jump into my tenant, so yeah, and refresh this page again. So, what's happening is when I select these pages, uh, you know, this dialog appears. It, it just appears as a normal dialog. So instead of normal dialog, we can make use of this PNP SPFX control called as animated dialog. So if I just change this from dialog to uh, animated dialog and change the end tag as well, and then just save this uh, and then go back here, wait for this to automatically refresh. Uh, so now I don't know if you'll be able to see in the recording, but uh, when I uh, when the dialogue appears, there's some animation uh, that happens, and then when I cancel, um, you know, it has a different animation. Uh, if needed, we can uh, control the uh, the animation. Uh, so in this, uh, this uses uh, the library called as Animate CSS, so we can add in um, the custom animations like fade in, down, fade out, uh, down. When if if I save that and uh, wait for this to automatically refresh and then select a couple of pages and now you can see the animation is slightly different so it uh, slides uh, down and then when i press cancel um, you know it fades out so yeah that's the animated dialog control so uh, it's just the uh, the same same as the fluent ui dialog but with some extra properties and you can check the check the uh, details about that in the chat uh, uh, right, uh, and then to finish off, uh, just a few more improvements that we can add to the extension itself. We can expand the same code for other web parts. At the moment, it's only PNP search search web part, but it can be easily changed to other web parts based on the requirement. And then we can add a few more checks. Uh, at the moment, it is checking only for the web part version, but if needed, you can check for web part title as well uh, based on the scenario. And uh, these are a few links that were used uh, that are related to uh, this extension. Um, and yeah, that's it from my side. Thanks, everyone. Patrick, over to you. Great. Thank you, Anup. Fantastic demo, as always. Really excited to see that. And the animated dialogue is a nice little extra there as well. Very cool stuff. Uh, I'm imagining that's uh, stuff folks can definitely have a look at and use in their projects. <laughs>